Hi everybody, Mr. E from Art with Mr. E here with another art lesson for you to try. Do you see what's on the paper? Yep, it's another fish. We're doing a whole bunch of fishy projects. Now this project is called a collagraph. Now a collagraph is used for printing, but it also looks a lot like something you might have done at school before. And that is called a collage. Collage, collagraph. Collage is when you use pieces of paper cut and glued together to create a picture. Well, a collagraph uses the same idea, but then we use the image to print with. Now, you could use paper or cardstock, but I find that this recycled paper that you probably have in your trash or in your recycling bin works even better because it's a little thick without being too thick for young artists to cut. So go find a box that you can use, preferably when it's empty. And we can use that to create our picture today. All right. So we are going to make a fishy color graph. Now, the first thing you're going to cut is a base for your image. Now, this one's a little bit smaller, but you could cut one the same size as a piece of paper. That's fine. Whatever is going to work with what you have at home. Then I'm going to use my scissors. And of course, you can always draw first. I'm going to use my scissors to cut out a fun fish for my collagraph. And remember, it's just the basic shapes. Oval, triangle, triangle, and we'll add the other parts on in just a minute. You want to make sure he'll fit onto your paper. And you can add whatever you want into your picture. It's up to you. I'm going to cut out his eyeball. Now, if you want to make a big old circle or oval and make him look kind of goofy, that is totally okay. Funny fish are the best. That's up to you. If you want to try to make it look really realistic, hey, that's awesome too. What kind of mood are you in today? A silly mood or a more serious, realistic mood? All right. Now, you can tell we're building up our picture, just like we would if we were doing a collage. Just like we would if we were doing a collage. We're gonna build it up. Well, once we have our pieces cut out, and I'm not gonna take the time to do a whole nother one, I just wanna show you the basics so you can do this at home yourself. But I love using Elmer's Craft Bond glue. Now, it's a tacky glue, but you could use regular Elmer's or you could probably use stick glue too. Stick glue does not stick as well, but it will probably work for this project. All right. Now, we have to take our pieces off, of course, if we're going to put glue on them. And I am going to scribble scrabble my glue on the back. I always tell my students this is the only time you're allowed to scribble is when we're putting glue on. And we don't need a lot of glue. If you put a lot of glue on it, it's not going to dry very well. I'm going to use my finger to spread out my glue. And then I'm going to put that where I want him on the base. All right. Then I'll take the big circle. Use that. Take my finger. Wipe it out. Put my eye where I want my eye. And I have some glue left on my finger, so I'm just going to rub it on the back of his pupil and put that down. So we want to build this up. I would add a flipper fin, a dorsal fin, some gills, probably some sand and some seaweed, maybe some bubbles. But this is your picture. You decide. You might want to put some starfish in there or a sea turtle. I'm all about turtles. So if you want to put a sea turtle, by all means, go ahead. Now, you're going to need to give this a little bit of time to dry. 
it won't need a lot of time if you've used your glue sparingly. That means you use just a little bit of glue. But then, before we move on to printing, we're going to take a rubbing off of our Colograph. Now, a rubbing, you've probably done them before. You just take a piece of paper and lay it on top. Now, I do recommend taping down the edges because with a rubbing, if your paper moves or the Colograph moves, it's gonna make your image shift. So you might get like a double image, like two fish or two bubbles. It just won't look quite right. So we just put this on top. You don't need a lot of tape, just enough to secure it down like so. And then you'll take your colors, whatever you wanna use, and you'll begin to rub. Now, if you notice, I'm holding my crayon almost sideways. Crayon, crayon, however you say it, where you are from. But do you see how the image is starting to show up? Isn't that cool? Now, you are more than welcome to use more than one color. But I would not recommend using a lot of colors. Because we're doing a rubbing and because you might not color as solidly as you need to, if you use a bunch of colors, it's going to start getting to be cluttered, visual clutter. It's going to be too much. So if you limit yourself to just a couple colors, it might work out even better. But that's what it looks like after I've done a rubbing over the whole thing. Isn't that cool? Now I did go back and add a little bit of line darkening right at the edges of some of the shapes so they kind of pop out a little bit more. But isn't that cool? I think that could be framed and hung up on the wall. I like it. Now, that is the rubbing. So with this project, we can get two works of art, well, or more, out of just one, which is awesome. So you can do your rubbing, and you could do a bunch of rubbings, really. You could do a whole fleet of them. Maybe you wanna make some cards for your family or make some artwork for your relatives. That would be wonderful. You could do a bunch of rubbings and try different kind of color combinations. Well, after you're done doing your rubbing, you're going to take your Colograph plate and you're going to use an acrylic paint. Now, normally we use printing ink, but we're at home and we got to use what we got, right? So I have some of this craft paint. This is that cheapy stuff that's like 50 cents a bottle. You can get it at Walmart. Sometimes you can get it at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to squirt this onto my image. Now, parents, you might want to put a plastic tablecloth underneath or a trash bag because this can get messy. Now, because we're not using printing ink, we need to work kind of quickly because the cardboard is thirsty. It wants to suck up all this paint and it will dry really fast. Now we wanna be careful though. We don't wanna have blobs of paint because the blobs of paint will not help us have a nice image when we're done. But we wanna have enough on there so it stays wet. We can't take a long time. So if you notice, I'm using a big fatty brush to paint the surface faster. And if you don't go all the way to the edge, that's okay. One of the great things about prints is their imperfections, meaning they're not perfect. That was sometimes what looks the coolest. Now, I have a little bit too much paint on mine, so what I'm gonna do is just rub the brush across, take the brush across, and it's gonna lift some of that paint. I'm kind of almost like scooping it up. Can you see? I scoop some of it up to get the excess off. Excess means too much. So I'm gonna get that excess, excess paint on up from my surface. Now, one of the things that you wanna be careful about 
is that as you get this wet with the paint, it's going to loosen up that glue a little bit. And you're going to notice that some of the pieces might want to curl up on you and start peeling up and off. I've had before when I've taken a print, one of the pieces come completely off. So you just want to be aware of that. All right. So then we're going to lay our paper directly on top and take our hands. Looks like an earthquake's happening in my video. Sorry. <laughs> I'm working on a card table and it's a little wiggly. All right. You want to make sure that you take your time to press all around your fishy fish. We can even see the texture, can't we? Texture is funny because we can see it, we can feel it, we can hear it when we do the rubbing. Just don't taste it, okay? And then I peel it off. Hmm. I think I had a little too much paint on my fishy fish. What do you think? That's okay. I'm going to take my brush just real quickly and I'm just going to do a quick once over. Do, 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 do. Over my whole plate. This is called a printing plate, by the way. If you wonder what plate Mr. E is talking about. Rub a dub dub. Boo boo boo. And then I will get my next piece of paper. And you can take a bunch of prints from your plate, your calligraph plate. So I lay this on top. Rub a dub dub. Flip it over. And then peel it off. Oh, he came out better, didn't he? So that is calligraph printing. You guys can do an awesome job at this. I know it. Just make sure you talk to your parents and get their permission and have them help if you need it. All right? Have a great time creating. Blub blub. Until our next video.